All right. Well, traditionally, spring and summer are the hottest and highest seasons for real estate transactions, everyone out there. That's right. But are you ready to buy or sell your home? Here with tips are the real estate power couple, yeah. Ryan and Royale Jockers. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we always hear about the market being all over the place, up, down, everywhere in between. So how is the market in general right now? Uh, right now, it's a balanced market. It's okay. not necessarily a buyer's market or seller's market. We have about three to six months of inventory, so it's pretty balanced. Okay. Really? Okay, so how would that benefit somebody who wants to buy a house right now, or how may it also maybe hinder them from buying? Yeah. What's the, uh, the Interest rates negatives? are great right now, mm -hmm. so that's really good for buyers. They're actually at a 12-month low. If you have good credit and you're looking to get an FHA or a VA loan, mm -hmm. interest rates start as low as 4.25%. That's wow. good. Yeah. That's really good. And if you're looking to get a conventional mm -hmm. and you have good credit, interest rates start as low as 4.35%. Okay. okay. So I know a lot of people were affected by Harvey and it affected the housing market also. So how is that now? So Harvey has, it, it depends. If you just flooded during Harvey and you've remediated and renovated, then your house is holding market value. Okay. If you're a house that's flooded multiple times or a house uh, where the whole subdivision flooded, uh, those properties are a little more distressed. They're okay. taking a little bit right. longer. But the further removed we get from Harvey, I think it will help those those people. Mm -hmm. And to get the most accurate, inf accurate information on those things, you want to get yourself a top producing agent mm -hmm. and have them do an in-depth market analysis on you your go. specific subdivision, neighborhood, zip code, and look at the market trends mm -hmm. and recently sold comps. And that, that especially when you talk about comps, because you'll be able to see, of course, the other houses in that area yes. and what they're going for at this point. Yes. Now, if somebody has decent credit, first explain to people what decent credit is. <laughs> I know what it is. A <laughs> three, but it's not. I know, not a 300. <laughs> I, I'm proud to see you have a good one, but okay, some people it. may yeah. get confused, and I know we've got a graphic on credit right there. How can a good credit score help you with interest rates and Absolutely. getting a good interest rate? Absolutely. So your interest rate is going to be based on your credit score, and that's it. It doesn't matter what your income is, any of that. The, the lenders are going to pull your credit. Now, you can buy a house with a 620 credit score, but you're going to be you're going to have a little bit higher interest rate. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lender that have can get you uh, uh, approved for a loan with a 580 credit score, but wow. you're going to pay a lot more in interest. On interest. Oh, so you right. do, you want to get your credit in a better situation to help your market. Yeah, well, you know, I don't think people realize that you can actually shop around to get yes, a better, yes. right? How does that work? Yes, that's what I was going to say. Um, the best way to ensure you get the best rate is to shop your rate. You want to okay. get pre-approved with at least two different lenders and be sure that you ask about incentives and special programs. They have so many good ones right now for first-time home buyers, oh. teachers, veterans, where you can take advantage of your zero down, 100% mm -hmm. financing. So ask. Ask about those incentives and programs and be sure to keep an eye on your property tax rate as well. Yes. Exactly. Property tax rates in so Houston important. vary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, for people who are not buying, just quickly, what about for sellers? How can you sell your house fast in this market right now? Uh, clean it up. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people Prepare. don't realize yeah. that. Staging, no. right? And yeah. staging, too, also staging helps, right? Staging absolutely yeah. helps. Turkey. On average, mm -hmm. uh, houses are taking 59 days to sell from going active to contract pending. 59 days. So if you're looking to sell, it's going to take about two months. And I always hear from that TV show, Curb Appeal, right? Yeah. Yeah. That helps as well. Just doing small, simple things can really make a big improvement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Consumers, they want turnkey. Mm -hmm. on, on our team, the Jockers team, guys, painters, lawn people. I mean, getting your house ready and making it look great, it really, really matters. If you want to get that market value, do the work. You know, All take right. care of it. So in other words, go to you guys. Yeah. Ryan <laughs> we'll Royale. take care of it. Yeah, we'll so take care of it. Yeah. Ryan at RoyalRealty.com and you can do all of this for them. They have to worry about yes. it, right? Absolutely. Yep. They're good people. Thank check you. them out. Call of course. Us. Yes, please do. And check out their website as well. We've got a lot more coming up.